it's raining outside, so I'm not going out. I mean, I could with the Canon R6 and the 16 to 35, the, they're weather sealed, so I could, but I've been a little bit under the weather, so I don't think that'd be a good idea for me to go out in the rain. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean my studio here and I'll make this video to try to figure out uh, whether I can use this lens, the 16 to 35 millimeters, with my Canon 90D for my studio parts, the speaking parts of my YouTube videos. Because with the Canon 90D, for this kind of shots, I generally use the EFS 24 millimeters f2.8. And I'm sure the EF 16 to 35 millimeters uh, can give me more flexibility because I can shoot a little bit wider and changing the perspective, changing the field of view at different impact. So I can set it to 16 that corresponds to a 25 when you put it on a crop sensor camera or tighter like a 20, 24 millimeters or even a 35 millimeter. So for sure, I'd get more flexibility. I, I can choose, you know, without having to change the lens. And also it has the same aperture, f2.8. Unlike the 10 to 18 millimeters, which has a maximum aperture of f4.5. I'll try this Canon EF 16 to 35 millimeters f2.8 version 2 on my Canon 90D for the very first time. One second. What's up guys, Dan Furlani here and welcome back to a new video. If you're new to this channel, there's one thing you need to know. I make videos with and about the Canon EOS R, the Canon R6, the Canon M50 and the Canon 90D. Right now I'm using it. Which one? The Canon 90D with the EFS 24mm f2.8. And I've been using it a lot, especially in this context, like for YouTube videos, for the main presentation, when I talk but I've always felt the need for something a little bit wider than this. Not much, but just a little bit, because a 24 millimeters on a crop sensor camera corresponds to a 38 something millimeters, right? Right. So this is a field of view of 38 millimeters, not 24. I tried the 10 to 18 millimeters quite a few times and I made many videos with that lens, which is awesome by the way. But for these kind of shots here in the studio for my main presentation, mm, I don't know, I never really liked it. Why? Mostly because of its maximum aperture, which is a 4.5 not a fast lens. So as I said, up until now, I made things do with the EFS 24 millimeters, but I recently got an EF lens, the EF 16 to 35 millimeters F 2.8 version two. Of course, I'm not gonna get the equivalent of a 16 millimeters. You have to multiply that times 1.6. So I get like a 26 something around 25, 26, help me something like that, but definitely much wider than the 24 millimeters, which as I said, corresponds to a 38 something, 38 ish. And also the maximum aperture of the 16 to 35 millimeters is F 2.8, just like this one. Of course, if I use it at 16 millimeters, there would be less compression, but still I'm sure it's gonna be better than the 10 to 18 millimeters. I'm gonna get a little bit of shallow depth of field. Then of course, I'm not obliged to use it at 16 millimeters. I can try to zoom it in and get a little bit more compression and see what it looks like. All right, without further ado, I'm gonna put the EF 16 to 35 millimeters F 2.8 version two on my Canon 90D right now. Man, it is wider. Look at it, like at 16 millimeters, and it corresponds to a 25 something, 26 millimeters, something like that. And check it out. We have so much in frame right now. You can even see my computer here. It's my new iMac M1 processor. You can see the door of my studio there. I tried to adjust it to get a decent field of view. I mean, also like this doesn't look bad. I would just need to hide my computer somehow, but give me one second. I think I'm gonna move my LED sign there more farther this way. Not perfect, but a little bit better. You can see the reflection of this light there on my LED sign. Well, it's work in progress. I'm just trying this lens with this setup for the first time. 
So what do you think about it? Leave a comment down below, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And check the links in the description to see all my gear stuff and things, my gear. And if you like the music in my videos, well, that's from Epidemic Sound. And if you click in the link, you can get one month of awesome music and great sound effects for free. All right, this was a very short video, but not a short, just to show you what the EF16 to 35 millimeters F2.8 looks like on my Canon 90D in my usual setup here. Let me see if I go to 35 millimeters. This is 20 right now, something like 20. And this is 35 millimeters. It's much tighter. We get more compression and everything. But let's go back to a 20-ish solution. Like this. For the ones who care just about the shallow depth of field, well then you should just use a prime lens like a 50 millimeters, set the camera a little bit farther away and bob your ankle. But if you want your indoor shot to be wider and get this particular effect, or even like this, like really wide, of course, you should hide the microphone, shouldn't be in frame, but just, just to show you that you can get this kind of shot and I like it. Let's say in terms of point of view, we get a similar result to the 10 to 18 millimeters, just for what concerns the field of view. But for the overall quality and in terms of shallow depth of field, this lens, in my opinion, is much better. But then it's a matter of personal taste. Well, I kind of like it like this. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this in this one video. I'll keep playing around with my setup and try to arrange it the best possible way. Now, my next video will be about the Canon R6 and I'm not gonna tell you anything. I'm gonna just tell you that it's gonna be a collab with some of my fellow YouTubers. So if you're interested, make sure you subscribe and activate the notification bell. All right, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video.